Josh Linkner, Discipline Dreaming, a proven system to drive breakthrough creativity. Dive into the world of A Discipline Dreaming and unlock your true creative potential. In this book summary, you'll learn how creativity is an essential asset for success in every role and industry. Join us as we unravel the various misconceptions about creativity and take you through a systematic five-step process to enhance your creative capabilities. From defining your creativity challenges and exploring different perspectives, to igniting the spark of new ideas and successfully launching them, this summary will provide you with a roadmap to drive breakthrough creativity in every aspect of your life. Unleashing creativity in every individual and organization. Many individuals believe creativity is only for certain roles in a company, or it is an innate skill that cannot be taught. However, creativity is necessary for every job, and each person can become more creative. Every organization requires creativity to remain competitive, and it can be managed. To improve creativity, follow the disciplined dreaming process, which involves asking, preparing, discovering, igniting, and launching. It expands creative capacity, drives competitive advantage, and fuels personal and professional growth. Although messy at times, this creative process produces results that are rewarding. By embracing creativity, one can respond proactively to market changes, deal with ambiguity, and make fewer mistakes, leading to innovative solutions and more productive workflows. Unleashing Your Creativity be innovative by defining a creativity challenge, analyzing the situation, dealing with resistance, defining a target audience, and shifting perspective. Do you want to find a sustainable competitive advantage as an individual or company? It's simple, you need to be creative. The first step to being creative is to define the problem you want to solve. Think of it as a creativity challenge like a picture of a finished jigsaw puzzle that guides your entire fitting and refitting of ideas and solutions. Describe your ideal goal in one sentence, ask important questions, and identify why your problem needs to be solved. The creative process is messy, nonlinear, and abstract. So, to solve the problem, you need to analyze your situation and identify who has tried in the past to solve the same problem. What did they do, and why did they fail? What are you doing about the problem now, and how would you like the future to look? Assume that fear and resistance to change will be present, and plan for it in your solution. Understand your competition, and define a plan that includes measurable success metrics. Be innovative in defining your target audience. Think of ways to persuade others to embrace the idea, and develop a step-by-step -step plan with deliverables and markers on your timeline to stay within budget. Expand your thinking, and ask why. What if, and why not, questions repeatedly, exploring alternative ideas and creating a beginner's mind unencumbered by existing beliefs. Finally, shift your perspective and imagine the problem from a standard view, zooming in to understand how it affects individuals. Consider the issue as an outsider and remember that creativity is a learned skill. Practicing foundational skills like observing, Networking with diverse people and experimenting help develop the skills necessary to unleash your creativity and achieve success. Fostering creativity in the workplace. A creative environment and culture can be established by promoting a sense of purpose, celebrating and rewarding ideas, avoiding groupthink, and encouraging a diverse workforce. To achieve this, organizations need to instill passion, promote collaboration, and cultivate a fun atmosphere. The critical part of fostering creativity is to give employees autonomy, allowing them to take risks and make mistakes. Organizations should also provide their employees with an environment that supports their creative endeavors. This includes conducting off-site meetings, providing reading materials, playing music, and using art to stimulate new ideas. Participants should also be given tools and supplies to support their creative activities. Creative cultures should also avoid the tendency to edit while creating. Instead, they should focus on the projects at hand and stay clear about their goals and where they are in the creative process. 
Organizations can also promote creativity by hiring a diverse workforce and promoting diversity within the company. To achieve this, organizations can establish programs like the Ambassador Program offered by Ziba, a design and innovation consultancy, where employees are assigned to another department for three months. In summary, to inspire creativity in the workplace, organizations must establish a culture that values creative thinking, autonomy, and collaboration. They should also provide an environment that supports creative activities and avoids groupthink. Creative organizations should celebrate new ideas, take risks, and embrace diversity. Discovering new ideas The key to discovering new ideas lies not in creating them, but in looking at the world and your projects from different perspectives. To facilitate this, assign participants roles during brainstorming, including someone to disagree with the CEO. Be alert for opportunities at inflection points and track trends. Use the borrowed idea technique and borrow patterns from urban noise or nature. Watch for frustrating moments and turn problems upside down by asking instead of questions. Remember, some of the best concepts in business history were selected at a ratio of one keeper to 100 passes. Dot. Igniting creative sparks. Creativity requires generating and recognizing sparks, and successfully launching new ideas necessitates persuasion. Collaborate with individuals from different backgrounds and try provocative statements. Don't judge new ideas but encourage and generate them. Creativity is not about having a perfect project figured out all at once. Instead, it involves generating and recognizing sparks where you can build upon them. To successfully introduce a new idea, persuading others is necessary. One way to achieve this is by assembling individuals from different backgrounds to discuss your ideas. Hot potato is a fun game that can start the process. By tossing a ball around, those who catch it can present one idea about the topic. Have you ever thought about generating and deliberately proposing wrong answers or statements to push your group to think through the implications? Role-playing your clients' desires is also a practical way to get valuable information. Collaborating in groups to build on ideas can lead to passion-driven accomplishments. Look to experts in your field for inspiration and consider jazz techniques by subtracting an element and replacing it with one of your own. Innovation requires sparking the imagination, and one can encourage an act of creativity by not judging new ideas, past events, or worrying about putting them into practice. Instead, generate and encourage new ideas that throw off a spark. Once this happens, pursue and cultivate the spark until it becomes a flame. Idea Launching Strategies In the book, the final step to bringing ideas to life is crucial and involves evaluating new ideas to select the best ones and launching them. The process requires reactivating the critical part of your mind to appraise ideas using all your capacities. The author suggests using multiple tools to appraise ideas, such as the classic matrix approach, where you score ideas numerically against each other in various categories. Another preferred option is the poker chip method, which helps diffuse groupthink that is likely to result from hierarchical structures. Once you choose an idea, it's essential to test it using prototypes, simulations, or telling stories, making a movie. Metrics, including critical criteria to measure the success of a new idea, should be established and standardized, and outsiders can understand them. Create a scorecard to keep track of your progress, integrate them into your action plan, and finally launch your ideas. As we conclude our exploration of a disciplined dreaming, it's important to remember that creativity is a skill that can be learned and managed, as well as a sustainable competitive advantage for both individuals and companies. By following the systematic five-step process of I ask, prepare, discover, ignite, and launch, you can hone your creativity and ensure that it fuels your professional and personal growth. Embrace the MSE in nature of the creative process, challenge preconceived notions, and learn to adapt to market changes proactively. By fostering a creative culture within your organization and supporting it with the right mindset and environment, you can overcome various challenges and make informed decisions, thus fostering game-changing innovations.